Hello, my name is Jenna Bosiger, and thank you for watching Cryptic Cryptids. On this episode, Illinois Cryptids and Hotspots. And if you like this topic and others like it, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the bell. This video started out to be about just the legend of the Piazza. The Piazza is a Native American cryptid depicted in one of two murals painted by the Native Americans on the bluffs above the Mississippi River. Its original location was at the end of a chain of limestone bluffs in Madison County, Illinois, at present-day Alton, Illinois. The original Piazza illustration no longer exists, and a newer 20th century version, based partly on 19th century sketches and lithographs, has been placed on a bluff in Alton, Illinois, several hundred yards upstream from its original origin. The original mural was created prior to the arrival of any European explorers in the region, and it was likely made by the Mississippian culture from the city of Cahokia, and thunderbirds and birdmen and monstrous snakes were common motifs of the Cahokian culture. The search about the piazza led me down a rabbit hole in the state of Illinois, and what I found is fascinating. And these are some drawings of the piazza a few months ago, I made a video about North American cryptids to see if there was any connection between giants and Bigfoot, and that video is right here. Then I made another video called California Cryptid to see if there was any connection between the giants and Bigfoot. And I did the same thing for the state of Illinois, and I definitely found a connection. So let's take a look at those findings. And what I'm hoping to find is a correlation between Bigfoot sightings, the giant skeletons found. I'm wondering if maybe some of the giants escaped underground and are now what we see as the Bigfoot. In Illinois, there is Cahokia, which is massive. Illinois is like the center of the mound builder culture along the Mississippian River. It's also known as the Mississippians. They were more than likely giants. They were here before the Native Americans got here, and there was some kind of skirmish between them. And it's possible that in order to escape genocide, some of these giants went underground and do their best to remain hidden to this day. In Illinois, I absolutely found a correlation between the two. Using BFRO, I found the counties in Illinois with the most Bigfoot sightings, the most reports of Bigfoot sightings, and by far it was Madison County. And, a, and then second place was Jackson County, and believe it or not, Cook County, which is strange because that's where Chicago is, then also Fulton County. Madison County, where they have the most Bigfoot sightings, is the same county where Cahokia is at. And it's also the same county where Alton is at, which started this entire episode because that is where the Piazza is from. And then Jackson County, in the center of Jackson County, is Murfreesboro. And Murfreesboro is definitely a Bigfoot hotspot. And within that county, there's the Piney Creek petroglyphs and Shawnee National Forest in southern Illinois is where they have a lot of petroglyphs from the Mississippian culture of these strange bird-like creatures. And in Lake Winnebago, which is actually in Wisconsin, but it's just above Illinois, that is where they have these petroglyphs of this sea monster, the Winnebago sea monster. Lake Michigan also has a lot of reports of a sea monster, and there's even a movie that's been put out about it. I think one of the reasons there's a lot of Bigfoot sightings in Cook County is going to be because of the Des Plaines River. All of the forest area surrounding the Des Plaines River looks very interesting, and up at the top of Cook County, there's some archaeological sites there that are very old, mounds and things of that nature. Fulton County happens just happens to have the Dixon Mounds and the Rockwell Mounds. There were giant skeletons found at the Dixon Mounds, Carthage, Quincy, Alton, the Mississippi River, and the Illinois River. Those are also 
listed as Bigfoot hotspots and places where giants have been found. It's also a place where the mounds are. So all three of those, the petroglyphs, the mounds, the giant skeletons, and Bigfoot sightings, they're kind of centered in, the, in together in these areas. Most of the petroglyph areas are in southern Illinois. There's Fountain Bluff petroglyphs, Milestone Bluffs, also in the Shawnee Forest. I found a couple other really interesting places that I would love to visit in Illinois. You have a lot of things named after the devil, and locations like that are usually kind of creepy and sketchy places but you don't usually have things named after God. And in Illinois, there's a place called Garden of the Gods, and it looks like such an amazing place. The stones there look really amazing. Another place that I would love to visit, also in Southern Illinois, is called Cave in a Rock. And it just looks like such an amazing location. I'm sure it was amazing to ancient people as well. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the bell if you like this video and want to see more like it. I really do appreciate it.